All right, here we are. We're going to do a weekly plane with me today. Um, I'm using these My Summer Touch Week on a Fold Out inserts. This is the last week. Um, I am recording this on Saturday. And so I still have a couple things on here that need to get checked off this weekend. But then we've got the next week all set to go. Um, I also have in here like some dailies. I actually am using this daily for the whole week end. Uh, I have some Friday to do's here, Saturday here, and Sunday like a timeline here. So that's fun. It all fits. But these are the My Summer Touch undated dailies. Anyway, this is the weekly spread. And you know what? I think I might take it out just to make it a little bit easier to write on the flap. Um, normally when I'm going around during the day, I will actually just fold it backwards to write on the flap and then unfold it again. But I'm not going to do that while I'm doing it on camera. I can show you the whole thing like this. So let us begin. Hopefully I won't get interrupted. I started to record before and then immediately was uh, heard the baby crying. I had put her down for a nap and she woke up early because she had a really big poop. And I thought, okay, there's a chance that she uh, she isn't tired, but she just proved that she was. So I think she just stopped screaming. <laughs> I have her on the camera over here so I can watch and make sure that she falls asleep. So all things going well, if I don't have to cut away, it will be because she's doing fine. Uh, using this like green theme for the month of March... But like I explained in a rambly, very rambly monthly plan with me, um, it's sort of supposed to be like a springy kind of green. So last week I was using all of the, uh, kind of leaning more on the yellows. So this time it'll be more green. And I think I will basically do what I did last week as far as my layout. I had this section and this section with the same header, and then this section is different. So, let's see, I need, this is for dinner, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another one. And then I'll start here. so bad of a morning for me. Like I said, I'm recording this on Saturday. My weekend has been going okay. Let's see. You already saw the video that's going out tomorrow. I still have to edit it, actually. Um, but that is about my weekends and how I, I do stuff on them, basically. You'll see. I mean, you, you already know what I'm talking about because presumably you've watched that video already. If not, it is linked in the corner. It's really hard to tell when these stickers are horizontal. I kind of try to just look at the bottom on either side. Anyway, there's my to-do list on this side. These are all Planner Kate header stickers. I love that these all go together. This week, oh, it goes up here. Wait, no, this week goes over here. I'm going to use the yellow again to cover this sort of section that it matters. Uh, I'm not going to color the cover the black spot because it just kind of looked weird last week I think covering it because you can see through this yellow and so it was just really obvious. Just want to give it a little bit of a color pop. This is what it looked like last week. You can see the black section there is like kind of covered, but like not really. I'll try it here. It's just a black dot in the corner for some reason. Maybe I'll do something else with it, but I'm just gonna cover up where it says this week with the sticker that says this week because that's what we do here in planner land. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna move the to-do sticker over. So it's not so close. 
Move it over here. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. And then the one that says the dinner goes here. It'll be like that. I'm trying to get it horizontal. So I like this layout because it's very, um, I don't know, versatile. I can just make room for whatever I want. And let's see. Man, I kind of don't want to copy exactly what I did last week, but I really did like how this like stripe looks. So let me see. Going through my. I also have some other options. Oh, maybe this one. No. See, I don't need too many different kinds of leaves. This one. It's very bluish kind of green. Yeah. To make decisions. There's also polka dots. You know, polka dots. Polka dots are kind of springy, right? I'm going to drop it on the floor. So yeah, my uh, my husband has a commitment this morning. He's helping out with a sort of churchy thing. And uh, so therefore he has been out since like 8.30 or so. Um, and I'm just here with the baby. But I actually managed to reorganize the linen closet, um, which has been my like monthly project goal for this month. Um, I did a really good job you know, chunk of what needs to be done. I reorganized the linen closet, everything, all the linens are like on the top half of it now. So the bottom half, I think probably first I have to, um, well, first I have to move all of the things from the bottom half were like kitchen linens that I had kind of forgotten were in there. And they're going to go into the china cabinet with the rest of the kitchen linens, which I thought we kind of had sort of a limited supply of. Turns out they were all just hiding. So I have to kind of reorganize those now in the kitchen and then I can uh, have Gino put a child lock on the bottom half and I'm going to use that whole second half of the uh, linen closet for toy storage. Move some of that stuff out of uh, Agnes's closet because it's kind of unorganized, disorganized disorganized and a mess and it just kind of like there's there have been quite an accumulation of toys in the living room lately because I like to try to keep it limited as to what's actually out at any given time and like accessible so that she doesn't like start getting tired of them and it's just so much so she has a certain amount of toys that are out in the living room and then a certain amount of toys that are out in the, in her bedroom. And then the rest go in the cupboard. You know, that's the idea. Or they go in, currently in her closet, but they're going to go in the cupboard instead. And then her closet will be a little bit more free. And obviously with the baby coming, the idea is that there's going to be more room for baby clothes in there as well and just baby supplies generally the um the bottom half of the sticker is like all weird and peely and also just taking up the wrong amount of room so i'm gonna try to trim it off here should just not do it here i'm gonna pull out my whole cutting mat just for this Come on. There we go. That'll do. That'll do okay. These little stickers I think I got from AliExpress back in the day. Or no. Is that right? Maybe from Etsy, but from somebody who got them from AliExpress, you know, like you do. So that's kind of covering the black spot. Or at least sort of drawing your attention away from the blackness of the black spot. Uh, this is a Twin 16 sticker. It came in like the grab bag that I got. Um, I don't use a laptop, so I haven't really used them. And I'm also not really a fan of the faux glitter look. 
but you know I have them and there you go. That's that's nice, right? Um, all this last week I had these little check boxes and they actually really kept me going. So I'm gonna put those back. Um, yeah, we'll use green again, I guess. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna wait until I've decided what we're doing for the sort of left half. But basically, these are my morning routine of the things that I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get back into the habit of waking up early because sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't really have a video that's due right now. I should still be getting up early and then working on a project for my channel, even if I don't have a video that needs to get edited. So, um, getting you know, getting back into the habit of getting up early. Then we're doing morning prayer as our Lenten thing uh, with me and my husband. And then I have been exercising, and I feel really good about that. If you want to hear all about it? I will probably at some point do a whole video about the program I'm using. It's called Mama Strong, and it's really cool. Let's see. Let's see. No more green books. Oh, yeah, I could have used this one. Maybe I'll use that next week. I don't really use these a lot because I don't really know what to do with these little flag guys like eh, I don't know like I used it here and I used it here but like I don't know I, I just I don't understand the shape of it I guess or what it's for so this is the week of the let me actually go ahead and fill out the dates the week of the ninth through Ah, yes. See, that's what it's like. I start writing the dates and I'm like, ah, yes, now I know what's happening. Now I know what's happening. Should I use this green? I mean, this plaid gingham, whatever. Or this one. I think the gingham. Too many florals kind of clash. I love florals, but like, I think one or maybe two in a spread. And I guess the, the leaves count is my point. <laughs> I'm kind of tear it in a little word. This weekend is my sister's birthday. They just they just bought a house, so they're doing like a housewarming slash birthday party. So we're gonna go down to visit my family. It's been a while since we were down there. I don't even know. I think it was December when we visited last. Ooh. Sorry, I just remembered I have some road trip stickers. These guys. I just thought they were so cute, but like we don't take that many road trips. Green green car is kind of minty. Yellow car, maybe yellow car. Okay, I like these tiny little roads because they're pretty cute. Do that. Kind of just center it-ish. There we go. We'll do yellow. I don't even know if that shows up really on the gingham. Not particularly. The car will though. I'll cover the top of it. There we go. Cover the top of the washi. So that's the road trip that spans the two days that we'll be visiting. I'm going to pull out my monthly so I know what we're doing. I do know that I have a mom's group thing I'm running out of these stickers all the good colors are gone <clears throat> I'm like afraid to use up all these ones but just gotta just gotta do it um, I'm gonna put it sort of over to the side here a little bit My Friday evening plans. So I know I definitely need to get some groceries at some point because I need to bring something, food or beverage item, to this event and also the party is like a potluck, so I need to either make or get something for that. So mom group is not what it's called, but that's what I call it. And then do I put 
put like, yeah, I don't know. Do I have any like birthday stickers? Probably don't. Party or, yeah, I don't know. I just found out like last night and I was texting her today that one of my good friends, she was one of my bridesmaids. She is also expecting like about a month and a half before me. So I'm really excited that she's going to come to the party. I'm going to see her too. Oh, I know. We'll do this. We'll do the glitter. Glitter flags. I don't know what to do with these flags. And we'll just sort of put it here. Right? And I'll just be like, hey, there it is. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. What do you do for birthday parties? Just put party exclamation point. Okay, that'll do. And then it's just sort of sitting there. What do you do with these flags? I don't know. I don't know. Like I can see maybe putting a date on top of it in the corner. It's faux glitter again. I'm not a huge fan, but oh man, it doesn't even match the color. It's similar, but it's too, too different. All right, what else is this week? Emily's birthday party. Emily's actual birthday is the 15th, but I knew that. That's why we're going. So I'm not going to like mark that on here. Then to do items. Let's see. Just checking off the one I just did. Okay. I'll just put these over here. Need to replace the water filter on our sink. We need to put in the Washing machine and dishwasher tablets. I'm going to change my razor. That's, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to pull a couple of things off of my context slash next action item list as well. Because I know I need to request my floating holiday for Good Friday. Because that is coming up. I don't know when. When is Easter? I have it on here, but it's not in March. It's in April. Okay, so it's like it's like two weeks into almost two weeks into April. So it's like there's that period of time around the beginning of a month where everything just kind of blindsides you because it's not on your current month. Unless, you know, you have also Discuss. Details. We're taking a trip to visit some family in April, and I need to see if I need to take PTO for like Friday or something. Don't know, don't know. Oh, I did that. Everything else is just gonna go. Eh, I'll add this one. Reorganize. I don't know if this is the verb I want to use, but um, I basically want to take, pull out some of my like postpartum supplies from under the bed and put them in the like, drawer and then take some of the things from my drawers that don't fit and put them in the box instead, kind of swap out things, um, move into maternity slash postpartum wardrobe in the drawers and put some stuff that doesn't fit away to kind of it's just it's easier to get dressed in the morning if you don't have to worry about which of the things in your closet fit all right there's not a lot else that's on here I feel like I had a, a sticker that I wanted to use for story time this week but I don't remember what that could have been did I pull out the yeah I did not these ones it was one of these little samplers here. Not much. Oh, hey, hey, look at that. I've got little party balloons. Perfect. I'll put the, put that right there like that. That looks a lot better. Now it's like party. Eh, can you see that? That's my weekend. It's kind of cute. Sticker time. Yeah. Bill do no. 
Nope, nope, none of that. Ooh, don't need be. Ooh, don't need be. Does that fit? I think that would fit. I'll use this guy for my dinner planning. Because that looks cool. It has five dots. I don't know, it looks good. Um, I've discussed this a little bit that like dinner planning, menu planning for me is just kind of weird because we have family nearby who love to give us food. <laughs> and so that's obviously a blessing, but it just kind of means I can't plan too far in advance. But I always have to make sure I have at least enough that we're not going to starve on a day that, you know, they haven't just shown up with food for us. Uh, let's see, I have some cute little kawaii arrows to use for something. Let me just use some more of these. Tuesday for story time. Right? But there's not a, um, I have a whole, here, let me raise up. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, let's use this, because I'm never going to use these. I'm not a big reader, unfortunately. I mean, I wish I were, because, like, people who are big readers are so smug about it. No, I'm kidding. But, like, um, it's great, you know, and I used to be. I was one of those people who was a big reader until high school and college just took it out of me, and I don't anymore. Um, it's one thing I'm, I guess, in theory, kind of trying during Lent. I'm, uh, just put story time here, because we go to the library every week. And for now... I feel like I feel like I can give it one more week before I have to make a really just, you know, a soul searching decision about whether we need to just stay at home. Uh, I want to talk to them because at least or maybe just grab Agnes on my lap during the opening song, because there's like a bit in the opening song where they're like, shake somebody's hand. And these are all toddlers who are sucking their thumbs and picking their noses. And it's just, you know, there's a lot of germs. Um, and... There's just, oh, yeah. So I think that we need to, somebody needs to put an end to that particular song. And songs like it, you know, stick your hand to somebody else's hand. Uh, not, not now. Not this year. Uh, let's see. My dinner plans from last week. There we go. What's left over? I ran into this. I ran, oh, man. Okay, so I'm really excited about the errands I ran yesterday. <laughs> These are all of the little errands I had to do. I just kind of stuck them in the corner or had to, wanted to. Honestly, it's probably better to do it sooner rather than later before like everything is on lockdown. I feel like the apocalypse is definitely coming, but also like, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, but I went to BevMo and I got some non-alcoholic beer and I'm really excited about it. I got Golden Road Mango Cart, which is like, it's a local LA brand. So, um, you, if you are not from Southern California, they, it may not be available, but it's pretty common around here. It, it comes in cans instead of bottles. I really like their brown ale. It tastes really red to me. <laughs> anyway, um, but they have one called Mango Cart, which is like, it's got like a kind of mango flavor. It's a wheat beer and it's a great summer beer. Anyway, they have a non-alcoholic version of it and I'm so excited. And then I also got some non-alcoholic porter. I've heard good things. I'm really excited to try them. They've been chilling since last night. All right, so I have materials to make more croaks, madams. I think I made a whole thing about like, how do you how do you pluralize it? And I still don't really know. If you don't actually know what a croque madame is though, it's a ham and cheese sandwich with bechamel sauce on top and then a fried egg. Uh, baked potatoes, yes. And bechamel sauce is a roux with milk, and roux is um, flour and butter. I don't know that much about cooking, which is why I'm telling you the things I've learned. My bechamel is always way too goopy, so I'm working on it. But it's like a French sandwich, obviously, based on the name you can tell. So this is the stuff I already have ingredients for. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have written this down because I still have today and tomorrow. And we might make one of these things and run out of the ingredients. And then I'll just have to check it off early. So that was last week's. Moved over here. 
And then this section here, I haven't filled out yet um, and probably won't on camera. I have been using my separate happy planner for um, my content planning. And it's sort of starting to get to the point where I want to move it back in here so that I just have it like on my mind. So when I'm at work and I'm looking at, you know, planning out my evening in my head, I can be like, oh yeah, this needs to get done tonight because the video is going out tomorrow or whatever. Um, so that's what this section is. And that's why the laptop is there, even though I, like I said, I don't really use a laptop. I tried pulling it out and I might try using it for like blog post formatting, but mostly I use my desktop. Um, all right. I think that's pretty much it. I'm not hugely a fan of how this turned out. I know Wednesday evening, we don't have plans that we previously did. And so our week is a little bit free, so I can try to get some, I'm going to move some things over here from this. I'm going to do this weekend. This I'm going to do this weekend. This I'm going to do this weekend. This I have to finish next week. Finally getting all of our tax docs together so that my husband does like the actual filing, but I can do these ones. All right. I think that's the only thing that needs to get you migrated over. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put all of these little reminder to do's morning routine to do's. So we're on the fifth line over. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to do on the top this time. So during the week, it's three things, but on the weekend, it's only two, one. So yeah, um, I might do, like I said, a whole video about my exercise routine. Cause it's like one of those things that when you find something that works, you want to tell everybody about it. Somebody on my September bumpers group on Reddit linked to it because they also felt compelled to shout it from the rooftops. And I'm really glad that I, I noted it down and I was like, I'm not sure if I'm ready, but when I am, this is what it's called and this is where it is. It's called Mama Strong. And um, it's $5 a month, which is like affordable. And I've been trying to find an exercise like to do to kind of get myself, you know, ready physically for a VBAC. I have never been in shape since I, um, I used to be more in shape when I did Irish dancing, but I, uh, was, uh... Yeah, sorry, I was just going to write exercise because I know that that fits. Uh, I have not been in shape since I stopped Irish dancing in high school. And I'm like, yeah, I'm young, whatever, but like I'm in my thirties now. So that means it's time for me to actually start paying attention to my body <laughs> and like doing some movement and stuff. Um, and so this is really great because it's like focused on motherhood from, um, I can, I can spell, did I spell that right? It, from pregnancy through postpartum and beyond. And it's focused on functionality, not appearance. So it's not like, you know, keep your weight down or take, you know, lose that baby fat or whatever. It's like rebuild your pelvic floor and deal with like prolapse and SPD and like actual issues that you know, and it's also, it's only 15 minutes and it's enough that it's, you know, getting me out of breath and ears ringing and stuff because I'm so out of shape. But I think it's also probably if you are a bit fit already, it's going to be totally doable if you're, you know, they say not to overdo it when you're pregnant. And uh, yeah, anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll probably do a whole video about it coming up in the next month or two. Um, so look out for that if you're interested. Um, there's no like referral codes or anything so I'm just telling you because I think it's cool uh this is it here it is I will put my like what's it content planning stuff here and then as more to do's come up I'll put them here I don't think there's probably going to be more events coming up 
So that's that's what it looks like. I like that it's more green, but that the yellow kind of pops. It, fe it has a lemony feel to me, even though there's no lemons on it. I don't have any lemon stickers or lemon lemon washi tape. But like last week was more yellow with green as a accent color. That was fine. But this was the point of this month. So I think this looks good. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and all of the rambling and stuff. I hope that you um, got something fun done while you were watching. And I will see you in the next one on Sunday. I don't remember what it is. But I will find out and put it here. <laughs> Sorry. See you. Bye.